Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is a, actually a concluding video of um, help this um, ticketing system certification. I'm making this video to kind of clarify some things and make things a little easier for uh, learners. So if you click on help this ticket system certification, uh, you'll get to this course and if you were not registered, you would register and then come back here. So if you're coming back from the portal page, you would either go down here and click on this course right here or you can go to the course catalog here and find that course but let's just click on this right here so now we got an introduction video this video will be put right here I'll put introduction and then conclusion on the on on this side so it will be an introduction video and this video will be under the conclusion so it makes it a little easier for people who are confused about certification and um, project so the first thing let me explain uh, when you start your course I know most of you started you went to learning path you clicked on the learning path and then you went through all this but some people did test without subscribing to the course which I put on the test um, mainly that you have to subscribe to the course and and to subscribe to the course you should have an option when you go to the course catalog you have a blue um, button you click on that and make sure you subscribe because what happened when you subscribe your list your name is listed in the list name so if you're not subscribed you and do your project you're not going to get the certificate because it will not generate anything you will just say okay you pass but nothing happens so you have to subscribe you do your test then you do the project project is must you got to do your project to to pass any exam you even if even if you pass exam with 100% uh, you didn't you didn't do your project you're still not going to be validated so once you do your project, you do your exam, then you pass it, and then you get the certificate, and you, this is how you get it. So congratulations to all these people right here who got their certification done, passed the project, and all that. So um, just wanted to tell you guys that uh, once you get certificate, let's say for example, Hamza Zia, he got the certificate. Um, so let's say if I click on his certificate, this is how it's going to look. You got a QR code that makes sure that um, when you print it, anyone can click on this and it will link to our server. And so the reason you want to use this link because it is linked to our server make makes it valid. Because if you're not, if you just tell somebody that this is a certificate, they will be like, okay, I mean it's all right, but they're gonna think that did you make it yourself or something. So this is how the server will help you with validation. So other things are there's another way to do it to click link here now some people ask me to download we don't have direct download uh, option in this uh, which maybe in future we'll work on that so um, other thing you can do is either you can um, make a use a snipping tool to copy this so if you do like you go to your um, windows and snipping tool comes with it so you can either grab this whole certificate like this and then paste it into paint I think paint does a good job when you print it it will print exactly the same way so that can help one way this way you can do the image of certificate if you want to download it you can also download it by using just a normal window print thing right here should print on it if you use the Microsoft XPS document writer it is also like a full writer it will without even PDFs or anything like that you can also do that and use a document printed or save it or send it to someone so let's say for example Microsoft XPS you click on OK and then it will say where do you want to save this and you can just put that and double click on that it will show you the exactly the same thing just like PDF but let's say you want to print this as PDF there's a way you can do that too you can print anything to PDF by using a free software which is free PDF printer if you type that in Google and then click on uh, do enter so free PDF and the one that I use is right here PDF creator uh, this is the what well, I think the, the, the site of this is right here let me just go back to the site so I think it's PDF uh, yeah PDF 4 so this is a site if you guys want to go type PDF forge dot org and download it and once you download it I already did that so I'm gonna go ahead and run it run it download and I'm gonna go through this PDF too because 
this is another thing in IIT we do like you know if we don't have printers on conventions and stuff like that what do we use and stuff like uh, I'm going to show you guys how do we uh, utilize these kind of tools to um, solve problems so just click next install and there could be other ones too you, you, don't, you guys don't have to exactly use this for PDF only um, the reason that I don't have ability to do that on this certification so if you guys really want PDF send it to uh, like attachment documents you know, some sites require PDF files and this is how you do it or you can even go to your word paste that 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 um, screenshot and then use that as a PDF so make sure you guys um, uh, this is something that I really don't want so uncheck these two alright so once it's done just uncheck this click finish and now if you go back to your certificate and then click on print here and then you see PDF creator you got other things but I will just do PDF creator here click OK and it tells you preparing it's gonna give you a box where do you want to save this PDF you can um, after saving open the file edit PDF file with uh, you don't have to edit it so we don't want to edit this um, so where do you want to save it there should be a place where you can save this creation modification you put that in there default profile you don't need to change that this is about the imaging and all that stuff but click on options and then you can specify your saving option which will either auto save using this area so I will do, do this and then it says my documents uh, what I will do is let's say I'm gonna pick this uh, my desktop actually let me just yeah okay my desktop doesn't matter so my desktop and I'm just gonna say okay save it and then I do um, save and now you can give it a name so I'm just gonna say uh, cert just to make it easy so now this one I'm saving it on, on document but I uh, auto save I use a desktop next time whenever I do a saving a uh, certificate or do anything anything from PDF creator it's gonna go to my de desktop so alright so I'm just gonna use doc my desktop here save it and now PDF is created and this is how it's gonna get printed out so the only problem is this this that was uh, the when we were doing the um, whole editing on this uh, certificate and the area got messed up but still it doesn't really matter because these are these are QR code what's important is QR code going to our link basically so let's say somebody comes in and they want you to click on this link wanting to make sure that is a uh, right certificate they can uh, and when they click on link it should take you to the, the site so other thing is a QR code it when they click on this it should take you to the site and exactly what it what they're seeing here they have to see it on the site too this is how they're gonna validate these certificates which is very important so you guys can see that I can print it to PDF by doing the PDF creator I can print it to the XPS which is the easiest way and print it out or um, yeah if you guys want to use PDF but if you guys want to just take a snipping s snapshot of this and drop it down to Word and then transfer it to PDF or Word keep it in Word it's up to you guys but these are some options and um, this is how you guys uh, will do that other thing is uh, please don't forget the common area um, did it help you guys or do, how was it uh, any anything did you guys get got anything out of it so I can make more short courses or should we just stick to the full full courses uh, which are huge courses so let me know do the common use the common area let me know what you guys think or if you guys have any other new ideas uh, want to get um, more information about videos go to my community area on the top page and then uh, drop some drop some lines over there alright thank you so much for watching bye bye